Hey everybody, welcome to another sniffle valve tutorial. This one uh, is going to be about uh, adding the parallax background effect uh, to Elementor uh, background images uh, for sections uh, because as it is now, uh, that is not an option. Hopefully at some point. It will be, but in the meantime, if you would like to have that effect, uh, you can do it by following the instructions on this video. So let's uh, get started. We'll go over here to the back end. And uh, do where are we going to go? Let's go to the pages here and we'll go to our home page. Let's just set things up here. We're going to do. Uh, no content title and these are all set up in the theme but we'll go full width so let's update that and as you can see we just have some text here now but that's going to show up in Elementor when we click here and there it is so let's just go right ahead and get rid of that add a new section just uh, a one column section so for our section now we want to go to style and uh, classic and add a background image and I'm going to use this uh, computer on the desk one okay so there it is and uh, some settings we need to do uh, we can leave that for the default attachment, though we need to set to fixed. I know what you're saying. That's not what I want, but bear with me. It's required. And the size uh, we need to cover. Okay. So let's just go ahead and save that for the time being. Now, let's get something on there uh, so we can see what's going on. We'll drag a heading in there. And we'll center it. Oop. And we'll give it H1. And so we can see it a little better. Uh, we'll make it white. And then also for the section, the content position, we'll put it in the middle. Okay, so that's what we have so far. And if we go and look at it on the home page, refresh. Not a whole lot. Okay. We're going to get there. So what we need to do is give some space here on the top and the bottom so we can see what's going on. And uh, now you could add some padding here to the section, but you'll run into a problem if you do that. You'll end up with a gap up here that you can't get rid of. So... Um, what we're going to do then is use a handy dandy spacer button or not button uh, widget so let's drag one in there and uh, let's just wind that up to say 300 duplicate it scroll down here a bit drag it down under there so there we have our uh, page is coming along and we'll just get rid of that and we don't have a lot of uh, L, um, content on the page so let's go fix that uh, by adding a new section underneath there and we'll just put a text editor in there and duplicate that a few times just so we can uh, get the effect and okay, so that's behaving like your standard fixed background, but we want parallax, parallax, and we don't have quite enough here, so let's add a couple more. So we want a parallax uh, background where the background image moves at a different scroll rate than. Uh, the page scroll, the content scroll. Okay, but that's uh, the setup we want to have. And if we uh, go look at it on the front page, on the front side of the site, there it is. And that's your standard 
fixed behavior. Okay, so now to get that, we need to add some code. And in order to do that uh, easily, we're going to need to add another plugin. And that one is uh, called Code Snippets. So we'll just go search for that. And this is the one. Install. And we'll activate it. And then we'll come over here to Snippets and Add New. And we'll give it a title so we know what it is. And we'll call it Para, oops, Parallax for Elementor. Now, I'm going to go grab the code here from Notepad++. Uh, but you'll be able to do this uh, from the uh, page on the Sniffle Valve site for this uh, video tutorial. And do the same. And we'll paste it in there. And there's a lot of stuff here, uh, but don't worry. Uh, that's what code snippets is nice for, because if uh, we're going to click Save Changes and Activate, but we want to run it everywhere so that we can see that uh, the effect in the uh, Elementor editor. So Save Changes and Activate. Now you'll see it's been added and activated with the green bar. That means it has parsed this code and determined that there are no errors. Uh, that's one of the beauties of this plugin. If there was an error, it would not activate the code and would prevent you from the dreaded white screen of death. And uh, this plugin uh, pretty much negates the need of a child team for adding any of this sort of thing to uh, a child team uh, function PHP. So. That's why we're using that. Okay, so this is our parallax code. That's great. Let's go see if it works. We'll refresh. And, uh, well, no, it looks the same. Nothing's happened. What's going on? Well, here's the trick. So come back here over to the front page. Edit with Elementor. Anywhere you want to have the parallax effect. Uh, occur, you need to add the Parallax class name, P-A-R-A-L-L-A-X, Parallax, into the CSS classes. Save that, and that's in the Advanced tab for that section. Now we'll go over here and refresh, and look at that. There you have the parallax effect where the background image is scrolling at a slightly different rate than the foreground content. All right, and uh, that's about it. So go over to uh, the Sniffle Valve uh, site. The link will be uh, in the video uh, where you can copy and paste the required uh, code to place into your code snippets. And uh, don't forget to add the parallax class name to the section where you want that to occur, which is kind of nice because if there's some places you don't want that and you just want the fixed or the scroll, well, you just leave that out and it'll be as it would. Okay, well, thanks for watching. That's about it. And uh, uh, perhaps subscribe to the, uh, subscribe to the Sniffle Valve channel and also on the Sniffle Valve website. And we'll hope to have another video up soon. Okay, thanks for watching.